This conference will now be recorded. Okay. Let me share my screen. Okay, okay, okay. It is obvious for you guys. It's obvious for you guys. I don't hear you. Yeah, audio sounds great. I can see your screen. Okay. We shall start now. Hi, everybody. Our meeting today is going to be with with Matthew. He's from Washington, D. from Washington, USA. He is a head of uh, Salt World Champion program. Hi, Matthew. Hi, how are you? Nice to see you. Good morning, everybody. I'm calling in from the very northwest corner of the whole United States, uh, out towards the ocean, so Seattle, Washington, up towards Canada. <laughs> yeah. Great. Okay. Today's meeting about uh, all about the uh, world champion. You feel free to ask any question to Matthew. He will be more than welcome to answer your question. Uh, so let me make you uh, as a presenter. Let me stop my screen. Okay. Yeah. Well, I also see we have Francisco Martinez. In yeah. Nepal. He's in the same, he's just a couple miles away from me. A few more kilometers. You guys are all kilometers, huh? Yeah, so was my gathering of all. Yeah, you are presenting now. Go ahead. Okay. Let me. Can you see PowerPoint? Yeah, it's obvious. Okay. Perfect. Well, good to see you in the in the group. Francisco, morning to you. So Francisco, for anyone that doesn't know already, um, he and Eric Betty are the two leaders, founders, SolidWorks user groups uh, in Seattle, where I'm from. And that's the first group that I joined when I graduated university. Um, so it's, it's neat to keep up with, with people like Francisco and Eric, for sure. Uh, the community wraps around the globe, which I'm very excited about today, uh, that we get to meet together halfway around the world, thanks to, to undersea fiber optic cables and internet technology things, and it's pretty cool. Uh, so without further ado, uh, my name is Matthew Clegg. I am the Community and User Advocacy Manager for SolidWorks. Uh, I've got a little bit about myself to introduce myself and what I do and how I got here, uh, and then we'll dive straight into the Champions program. Uh, I do have the chat up on my other screen. If anyone has any questions, please butt in the chat. Uh, it's, it's a nice, small, intimate group. We can, we can have a conversation together, which I really like, as opposed to a really big group. Um, so we're, we're going to have some fun here exploring what the Champions program is. So for my history, I went to university at Central Washington Un University here in the same state. Um, I actually have a, a music degree. So I started going to college to study trombone music performance uh, for classical music, jazz music. Um, and right when I was about to graduate, uh, about 2008, we, here in the US, our economy was not doing so well. Uh, and in the arts, um, comedians sp specifically was not doing well. So I had to rethink what I was going to do with my job. And I went back to school to study industrial technology, industrial engineering. And that's what put me on the path to being here today. Um, so I have two very different, the very complementary backgrounds with my school. Uh, I've spent the last 10 years going through industry, uh, a lot of heavy industry. I started out in heavy equipment, excavators, 
front loaders. I know that all these different terms change depending on what country you're in, especially like up in the UK. Um, but earth moving machines, um, that was a lot of fun. Got the shadows, some field mechanics, went out in the woods, tore things apart, fixed engines, got dirty, right? And, I, and then I um, found a job at a cast iron foundry. Where they pour liquid cast iron. Um, and, and what these things made was pipe couplings to hook giant water pipes together under the ground. Uh, and then I learned how to use a laser scanner for reverse engineering and began scanning patterns and then building back broken patterns, um, fixing ones that had worn out. Um, so I used SolidWorks and, and a laser scanner to do all that. It was a, a lot of fun. Uh, and then I went to go work for a SolidWorks reseller as an application engineer. Uh, I took literally all of the SolidWorks tests and became yeah. fully certified there. Uh, a lot of good experience with troubleshooting and, and helping solve engineering problems at a larger level. Uh, the last industry job I, I had before I came to SolidWorks was in the marine equipment design field. Uh, this ship that we're looking at here is called the Glen Edwards. <clears throat> all it is, it's a giant underwater vacuum. It goes in all the ports here in the United States and sucks all of the, the silt and dirt off the bottom of the ocean and puts it in the middle of the boat and then went and dumped it somewhere else to keep the ports deep. Um, so I worked with several professional engineers and we design all of this stuff on top of the deck, all of the davits, all of the suction arm here. Um, this is the first one. And I was on the team that's building the second one that's even bigger, that's being built in Texas, down in the, um, in the Gulf Coast here in the United States. So this was a really fun job as well. Uh, and then I got the call to join SolidWorks. Seven interviews later, uh, here I am. I was the, the community manager for SolidWorks. It's been a heck of a ride. Uh, Certification-wise, I am a cer certified SolidWorks expert. Uh, I have a bunch of about 32 other ones I won't bore you with. If you ever wanted to look them up, the certification uh, registry that we have for SolidWorks, I'm in there under Washington State, which I think is another neat community aspect we have here at SolidWorks when we pass these tests. They're hard. They take a lot of work. Yeah. And we can look each other up and, and see how hard we've all worked and supported each other to get this far, which I think is really neat. Um, so I also have a community leadership background. There's a, an organization here in the U.S. called the Society of Manufacturing Engineers. Uh, I've worked extensively with the Seattle chapter here in Washington uh, for many years. This is a group of us outside of a large um, steel processing plant called Nucor Steel. They make rebar for buildings. They send it everywhere. Uh, they're one of the biggest steel recyclers in the country. Uh, it was an amazing tour. Uh, I'm curious to hear later in the session what you guys do for tours and what industries out in Sudan. I'm really interested to know that too. Um, so our chapter is doing quite well. We've worked very hard a community of over 400 members at, at its height, right before COVID. Um, I've been a member of you know Eric and Francisco's user groups since right after college, right around 10 years ago. And I'm also a SolidWorks champion. Uh, I, I was one of the inaugural members right when Sean started the program a couple of years ago. Hobbies, um, I have a, a very old Chevrolet pickup. 1969 pickup that uh, I've had since I was uh, a teenager in high school. I, I work on that for fun and build things and design things in solid works and 3D print things. And it's just been a great test platform for whatever I think of. Um, and out here in Washington, we have some amazing mountains. They're, they're very fun. So I go snowboarding. Um, and this is my wife and I in New Zealand. I guess that's closer to you guys in Sudan than it is to me over here. 
Uh, but this is Mount Cook in the background. So mountains, trucks, big machinery, designing things in SolidWorks, it's all, it's a lot of fun. Um, I talked that I had some music background as well. Um, I still play trombone in several orchestras here in Seattle. I teach uh, uh, kids in youth symphony, and I've done that for seven years now. Um, so a lot of arts here in Washington, which is great. Uh, so all of this background, right? Why, why am I here? Why am I sitting before you guys today? Why did I take the job at SolidWorks? Um, ever since college, SolidWorks has been my, my favorite CAD platform, hands down. It's the easiest to use. It's the most capable. Uh, it's the most respected in all of the industries I've worked in. It's just the natural choice. And to, to keep that consistently throughout my career, um, <clears throat> another concept I really believe in, that just like music, um, CAD, computer-aided design, is a language. And I, I really believe that all of us in these SOLIDWORKS communities speak a dialect together that is SOLIDWORKS uh, in, in a very similar the way that, that music can bring people together. So when, when we meet like this, um, Grant, I, I don't know Arabic, but I do know design. We can all look at a design together and look at it and appreciate it and, and analyze it together. And I think that is really neat. Um, and then the, <clears throat> the networking through SOLIDWORKS user groups over the last decade you know, sitting and watching Francisco and Eric bring people in to speak with us. Uh, longtime friend of mine, Michael Steves, also works for SolidWorks, longtime member of a user group I've been in here in Seattle. Um, and that ultimately led to this job that I'm in today. So that the power of community, whether it's champions, whether it's SolidWorks user groups, um, the friends and the connections you make can, can be lifelong. They can lead to incredible opportunities. The people in all of these groups that we're talking about really care about the uh, the work that we're doing together, and they really draw some really good people to the groups. Um, and finally, why why I took this role, I could align engineering, arts, community, uh, and it's my day job now. I get to meet, I you know wake up early and meet with everyone uh, in, in Northern Africa and talk about SolidWorks. That's pretty awesome. I feel very lucky. Um, and it, it fits right in line with the Deso Systems purpose of harmonizing product, nature, and life. So it's, it's a bigger picture of what we're doing here. <clears throat> of course, none of this would exist uh, if Sean O'Neill hadn't put all this together. So a huge thanks to Sean. Uh, coming from the nonprofit world, I know firsthand, even with a small group, it is very hard to get it off the ground and to get people engaged to build the infrastructure behind the scenes. Uh, so big thanks to him if he ever watches this. Um, he's getting ready for SolidWorks for a three experience world right now. He's, he's a very busy guy, but he's been a huge help even in the three weeks that I've been here. So big shout out to Sean. Um, <clears throat> so now we're going to dive into to the Champions program specifically. One moment. So what's the, what's the whole purpose of, of Champions? What's our mission statement? Officially, uh, the Champions program aims to acknowledge and connect community members from around the world who go above and beyond in sharing their passion and expertise, which isn't too far off from what uh, SOLIDWORKS user groups do, and they're very similar. Um, the objectives of where we're at with the program, we're, we're about to hit 600 people. I just looked at incoming applications, and there are quite a few. We're, we'll hit 600 within a couple of weeks easily, uh, which I'm very excited about. 53 countries all the way around the world. I mean, just the two of us cover each half right here, which I think is pretty neat. Um, another goal <clears throat> I have for the program is to diversify and expand our member presentations. It's what we're doing right now. This to me, this is as good as it gets. Um, I'm learning about all of you halfway around the world about a completely different culture, industry, 
and I um for anyone I don't know if it's made it over there, but there's a guy I've always watched. His name is Anthony Bourdain. He's a chef, travels all around the world. Sadly, he passed away, but uh, I want to be the Anthony Bourdain of SolidWorks. So to travel virtually, in this case, around the world, learn about all of you. Anyone else over there that wants to talk SolidWorks, it's going to be a lot of fun. Uh, and I want to incorporate this in, in, into our focus um, and even and find a way to add the creative arts in there as well. Like I said, it's another language that we all speak is music and design. I think they complement each other quite well. Um, another vision <clears throat> that I have for the program is, is to establish professional association partnerships, uh, society of manufacturing and engineers here in the US as an obvious choice to start with. It's where I came from. As we build these partnerships, I wanna know uh, who all of you engage with over in Sudan. Uh, what what I would like to know what exists over there, what support there is, what communities there are. Uh, we'll have a lot of fun learning about that. Um, this is a longer range goal here. And I also want the, the Champions program to be instrumental to development of future technologies. Um, we'll go over the specifics of, of how to apply for it here in a moment, but one of the biggest benefits, in my opinion, of the Champions program is just being closer to the inner circle, circle of SolidWorks of how things are made, how they're tested, um, getting feedback from people that design the software. You're not hearing it through a second or a third person. Um, I just did a poll in, in the platform I'll show you here in a moment about what champions are interested in, in hearing from. Uh, and and the, one of the biggest responses was SolidWorks research and development. Uh, one of the benefits of me being internal to SolidWorks is I can reach out to these people and ask them to come speak to it, to our group to learn more about what uh, is, is under the hood, behind the scenes, how all this stuff works, how we, how we test it, how we improve it, uh, what's involved in all of this. Then most people would never get to know about it, which I think is a pretty neat thing that we do. Uh, another program vision is to promote community engagement and mentorship. Uh, that's both inside and outside of the Champions program. Uh, there's a initiative here in the U.S. called Mavens and Manufacturing. Um, I can bring up their website here in a, a moment if we have time. Um, incredible story about about this um, engineer maker and, and she's transforming the community um, it, it's we should do a special about her uh, Mohammed we should get her in here actually it'd be a lot of fun I'm gonna write a note here to do that actually that's, that'd be cool uh, let's see let's get back to it SolidWorks influencers so I run two programs champions we're talking about right now and influencers the influencers half is, is mainly um youtube this is the the main format but if any of you see people on youtube that are inspiring that are creating things that are engaging um engineering communities that are that are building things that are cool with solidworks uh, i want to know about that I want to incorporate that into what we promote. Um, some of the biggest people we already work with, Titans of CNC. A lot of you may have heard about, excuse me, heard about what they do. Um, Smarter Every Day is another engineering channel we've worked with. Linus Tech Tips. Uh, I'm curious to hear if any of that has made it over on that side of the world or not, but I want to diversify that. Um, so that is another hat that I wear. And engagement, SolidWorks user groups, what we're doing right now, that's a big deal for me to make sure those two worlds stay very well connected, uh, that we know what we're up to, what we're working on. Yep, and uh, Mohammed says, and, and Toby, he was here the other week, I was sitting in his yeah. tips and tricks, that was awesome. The guy is yeah. super smart. Um, so all of these, are, yeah, great things. And then 3D Experience World, that's coming up right around the corner. Uh, we'll talk about that a little more coming up as well. Uh, but these are all opportunities we have 
to engage each other. And the last thing I want to do with this program is, is expand member benefits. Um, one thing Sean made very clear when I, I was interviewing and talking with him that we're here to have fun. This isn't work. Uh, all the user group meetings I had with, with Eric and Francisco, um, I could have had a tough day at work. Maybe it, it didn't go great, but I could look forward to a user group meeting, have some pizza, geek out with whoever showed up um, and, and learn something. And, and it wasn't about whose title was in the room, what they had done, whatever. There's no ego. You just you learn together. And that was that was fun. So I want to keep that above and beyond everything else. Um, so <clears throat> with the intro, uh, are there any SOLIDWORKS champions in this group that are here today? Can I get a plus one in the chat if there are any? Yeah, I'm a SOLIDWORKS champion. Yep, so other than other than Mohammed though. So we are two know. just in, in, in Sudan. Just you, okay. We are two, just two person. Two person, okay. Is the yeah. other person here today? Let me check it. I don't think so. No, okay. Yeah, his name also Muhammad. Okay. Yeah. Still applied. Okay, so we have a lot of applications to go through. There's, I think there's over 70 now that have popped up in the last couple of weeks. Um, so we'll we'll definitely be going through those in the coming weeks. Um, but I appreciate your patience as we do that. So, Mohammed, thank you for for being a champions member. And uh, forgive me, Edelson, Flores. I hope to see you in the group as well. Um, if you don't hear anything back in the coming week or two, feel free to reach out. I'm going to drop my email here in the chat uh, before I forget. Thank you, Matthew. You're welcome. There's my email. That's the real one now. I get the, the fancy one. Um, so moving over out of the intro into the real deal. Uh, this is the SOLIDWORKS Champions website. I'm going to start dropping links in the chat here. <clears throat> so SOLIDWORKS offers multiple communities. One of them, SOLIDWORKS user groups. We're sitting in one right now. They're awesome. Dan does a great job leading those worldwide. Uh, Mohammed running the, the show over in Sudan. Thank you, Mohammed, for, for all the time you commit to, to this group. Uh, it is a, it's, a, it's a big time commitment for sure. Uh, so the champions program, what what a, what do you have to do to become a champion? The first application item is is earning a, a certification. It doesn't have to be a CSWE or a, a professional or even associate. It can be any one of those. Um, attend a 3D Experience World event. This one's super easy because now uh, world is 100% virtual. And I'm going to drop this in the chat. So this is really easy to check off if I just registered yesterday. Um, hundreds of sessions. There's so many great things to learn um, in this. The first time I went was last year when it was also 100% virtual. I actually had a, a knee surgery where I, I couldn't walk for weeks and it was right before world and it went 100% virtual and I got to watch everything for three days and it was awesome. Learned a, a ton. Um, if we look at the, the session catalog, let's see, 290 sessions to pick from over three days. Uh, there's currently 15,000 people registered. We're expecting 25,000 or more. By the time it actually happens, it, it, every day it just skyrockets. So please check this out. It's completely free. Uh, you'll get to talk to, uh, there's one session in here. Things like this, the fireside chat with executives, 
So Suchit Jane is my boss's boss. GP Bossy is my boss's boss's boss, right? Manish Kumar, research and development president, right? So you can hear from these people. Um, it, it's really a unique experience to SolidWorks that there's access like this for us to, to um, tune in and, and network with people all around the company and all around the world for that matter. It's pretty awesome. So we have, let me check the chat here. Certification, great question. Uh, in 3D experience world, how do we know which sessions uh, provide certification vouchers? So this this has evolved a little bit. Um, let's see, where is it? Stand by. There's actually something about this in the platform. We're just gonna jump around. So I'm going to drop a link for certification. Check this out too. The way certification has been reworked for the all virtual experience is certifications are open the week after World, which I, I kind of like really because that way you're not trying to take tests in the middle of watching sessions. You can just learn for a week and then go back and take a test. The, if you open up this link, um, if anyone has registered for World in person, which I'm, I kind of doubt, but if, if anyone has, they still get access to these more advanced um, certifications for free. If anyone's virtual from the start, like if, if we all registered today, you wouldn't get like the CSWE for free. Um, but like for the E, there are a lot of these tests that are prerequisites that are free. So the fact that you can you can nail out, I believe you need four, four of the five or five of the six, I can't remember. It's been a while now, but a bunch of these are prerequisite tests that you can get done quickly and for free. Um, so a lot to look at here. I did drop the link in the chat. Have a have a look at that together. Uh, the the way all this hooks together, you go all the way to the bottom. You can see all these tests is right here. So the email that you register with is what's used to access the test, and it still uses this Tester Pro client. Anyone that's taken exams, Mohammed, I know you've seen this. Uh, there's a whole certification website, and this is the program that hooks you in to the SolidWorks testing um, center. So if there's any questions on this stuff, let me know. I can also pack, pass you in the mic pocket. He's a certification lead at SolidWorks. Uh, I want to make sure I'm getting all the links in here. So we have certification, world, champions. Okay. Any questions so far? How are we doing, everybody? All good. Okay. So if we go down the other list of application metrics for champions, like we said, you can get a cert at World. Um, World is free. You can register for that today. So we already got two crossed off. Uh, active participation within online communities. Um, there's a lot of activity on LinkedIn surrounding champions. We have a page there. We have um, any local user groups, like what we're doing right now with Muhammad's um, user group. This is perfect. You would put that in the application. So really, we have three of those done. Um, shown a love for SolidWorks products and want to convey it more largely. More vague than the other ones, uh, but in my opinion, if, if you're already doing these things, um, you know, and, and commenting on LinkedIn and other people supporting their projects, their their champions activities. Uh, it's pretty easy to to check off. Uh, let's see. In this last one, adopted our community driven approach to software development, alpha beta programs, submitting enhancement requests. If you guys have questions on this, let me know. Um, these. 
easier to show you. So the research and does development portion of SOLIDWORKS, you can participate in, in alpha and beta testing directly. Uh, there, there is a game aspect to it. You can win prizes. Uh, I've done this some years. It is a lot of fun. You, your job is just to break software <laughs> and, they, and they watch how you break it. So anyone that likes testing the limits of things or, you know, like Mohammed knows the program really well. He's a CSWE. You know where some of the bugs have been before and you can go in and see if they're still there and communicate that back. Um, so this this program can be a lot of fun. It's it's a very uh, close inner circle of, of people that, that really like to, to drive technology forward. I highly recommend it. Um, and that's something you could do today too. So really, if you go to World, you're already in a user group because we're talking today. You join the Alpha program, you could apply to be a champion. You could do that at the end of this month, really. So it's it's um, very achievable. <clears throat> the benefits, well, why why do it? Uh, we've talked. There's in the champions program, uh, and, it, and me is is the leader of this program. I get to meet and, and work with people on a first name basis that actually make the software, which I think is really cool. Uh, it's it's my job to find these people and to bring them in. To our group to learn from them, uh, which would be very tough to do outside of this this community. Um, user groups we're working with Dan to also bring more uh, internal resources into user groups as well. But th this is exactly what Champions is for to do this as much as we can. Um, so that's let's see. To me, that's the the biggest benefit uh, when I joined when I was looking at everything and they talk about a swag kit. So this is uh, this is the swag kit. You get a backpack, nice coffee mug, notebook, the neat tech part. You get some earbuds. These are actually really nice. I use them in the gym all the time. Um, and you'll see people post a link that in about them. You've probably seen this before. Uh, forgive me on names, everyone. We have uh, Amen El Uh Perfect. Okay. So they're asking to meet more people outside the mechanical engineering major, electronic engineer. Okay, SolidWorks and CAD. Perfect. Yeah, that's exactly what I, I want to bring in too is people outside of the mechanical engineering bubble. I'm an industrial engineer, so I, I definitely I hear you there. Um, and that's something I'm working very hard in the champions program to round out who it is that we hear from. Um, Okay, let, let's explore that even more too after this next bit. I want to come back to that. Uh, so SolidWorks swag, this is something that you get after joining. Um, shipping times from the moment you request it all the way uh, to your side of the world are going to be a little bit longer, but uh, it's my job to make sure it all gets there. So patience is appreciated. Uh, let's see what else. Private communities. This guy right here um, <laughs> also says the mug is all I need right now. Yeah, a good coffee mug goes a long way. That's for sure. So the, the private community, for anyone that's not familiar, uh, our secret space that we interact in is inside of the 3D experience platform. We could spend a whole hour on what that even is. Uh, the best way I can sum it up for what we use it for as a group, those of us champions, this is the place we log into. This is like our, our Facebook, really. Uh, we post ideas, I post updates. Um, one of the benefits of this, I work directly with VPs and, and, and directors inside of SolidWorks and get updates about world and whatever else in our our SOLIDWORKS universe, and it comes straight to you through here. It's not out in the internet. You can only get it inside of this page. Uh, and a lot of this, we all get to hear about way before the rest of the world does. So I think it's really cool. I, I remember when I joined it, it 
was neat to see behind the curtain uh, of what's going on. And um, so this is all stuff that we post. There are people that, uh, a lot like what Toby did, tips and tricks, you'll see a lot of these power users chime in and what, what they've learned. Um, ideas of how to improve the program. I mean, there, there's all sorts of ways to post up here, different content that you can filter on. Um, let's see, you could look at pictures only, see what pictures people have posted, um, questions, right? We could spend, so we could spend a whole nother hour on this, but this is our, our little secret space that we work in, communicate together. Um, uh, let's see. This next one, um, participation in online outlets. So 3D Experience World Champion Central Live is the name of the meeting space that we have, usually a monthly basis uh, to get together as champions and discuss what's going on, we have a guest speaker, similar to what we do here in user groups, very similar, um, but it's, it's with uh, an emphasis on on meeting with, with industry leaders or people inside of, of DESO systems on a very specific kind of nerdy level to really do deep dives in the technology, how we develop things. Um, let's see. And the rest of this is what I'm working to expand. So a lot of a lot of things here to look forward to above and beyond what we can offer through the SolidWorks user groups. Um, the application right here, this is it. So you can fill it once you go to World, you get a certification, uh, you throw in the comments that you're a member of a user group, that we were in a meeting together here on the 28th of January, right? We talked about champions together, send that off. And that is the process. Pretty straightforward. Uh, what else? Okay, that's all I had to prepare about the program, but I'd love to hear from all of you about any questions. Yeah. Here is Muhammad, the other one that he have uh, uh, He's solo world champion also, Muhammad Hussam. Nice He's to meet you. Right. So there's, there's three of us in here now. Perfect. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome, Muhammad. See, I, I'm learning Muhammad. There's Matthews. There, there's Matthews everywhere. If yeah. You're mid, if you're mid 30s, everyone's Matthew. I work with two <laughs> of them already. <laughs> you hear me? I can. Yeah, we hear you. you. Uh, first of all, I wanna to say congratulations congratulations for you. Uh, uh, Muhammad, tell me you will have a kids. So congratulations. Thank you. Yes, we uh, we were trying to figure out my my wife and I could have a baby any day. I mean, it could happen right now. So it's <laughs> uh, luckily the we had a little bit of time. So I told. Mohammed, I would jump in and, and say hi. Uh, but thanks for your, you willing to be flexible, Mohammed. <laughs> yeah, okay. Yeah. Exciting so, stuff. So I, I wanted to know back to, oh, I don't remember whose question it was. Yeah. What, so industries in, in Sudan, um, is it mining, is it oil, gas? What are the big industries in Sudan? Oil. Engineers. Yeah. Yeah, oil. The most of uh, mechanical engineers they used to go is this field. We are, uh, me and Muhammad, we are very Sudanese, like um, holding CSWE and Soul World Champion. And uh, good news, uh, recently I've uh, got accepted to be a Soul uh, World student leader. As the first Sudanese here in Sudan, so I'm really excited, you know, to spread the uh, sort of works to my community and to help them to get more information about it by holding meetings, 
uh, get connection or get connected with people around the globe. So they're gonna help us here in Sudan because um, the previous years we, we didn't have ability in order to get more information about software so all of this uh, uh, software. Uh, as you mentioned, um, I'm a big fan of Solvox, so for that reason, you know, I spend uh, all my days, you know, spending time working with Solvox. That's great. I'm seeing in the chat too, dairy is another big industry, civil engineering, all food industries. Okay. This is great in the chat too. Thank you. Huh. Are there any professional associations for engineers in Sudan? Yeah, I think so. Sure. Okay. <laughs> I'm just curious. Yeah. Food industries. Okay. But we are a student now. My students are final year. So we are very excited, you know, to know about the field. Absolutely. So how how many years is is university there? Is it four years? No, five five years. Five years, okay. Yeah. To get the bachelor for bachelor's degree. Yeah. It's normally it's four here. My music degree was five years. <laughs> I took too many classes. Injection molding plastics. That's another yeah. really neat field uh, injection molding the i was only in in foundry which also had mold tooling but injection molds those are beautiful <laughs> yeah. like the machining that goes into injection molds uh, that's as good as it gets yeah. very tough the to make really I, also sorry the mechanism of machine is really awesome injection molding machines absolutely yeah the uh have any of you ever been to a foundry over there foundry uh, i don't think so no Do, yeah and i don't know if the word um so found where they they pour liquid metal and make molds okay so they have hmm. brazil okay that was one of my favorite jobs in industry was um developing molds for cast parts, watching liquid metal, everything's on fire all the time. Yeah, a little <laughs> right. bit risky. What's that? Yeah, I say it's risky. <laughs> Absolutely, yeah. Um, very cool. What a uh, what kind of food is over there? Yeah, we got like you know, traditional food. For instance, uh, like Asida. No, you got like some some like uh, vegetables also very unique. You you hear about gum Arabic? Arabic gum? Sorry, gum Arabic. Oh yes, uh, that's an ingredient, right? Gum Arabic. Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. yeah. You find it in the medical medical stuff tablets they can make like uh, medicines from them and oh let's see you can forgive me with names uh sali how, how do you pronounce your name sali 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 okay. yeah i'm looking right now to see if i have you in the the list um Electricity power generation, yeah. Is it um, wind power? Is it dams? D dams. Yeah. Yeah. I in, in dams in the electricity field. I work with uh, Germany's here in Sudan. We are maintenance Francis turbine that generate electricity. So it's really fun. We have we have both in Washington um, and nuclear power. Is there nuclear power in Sudan or around Sudan? No, yeah, so. 
let's see. Sally, I'm looking into this right now. I'm going to take a, a screenshot. There's a couple other spreadsheets I can look in to make sure you're in there. Um, casting is really satisfying. I totally agree. It's one of those things where this, you put so much time into designing gating and how the metal goes in yeah. and venting it properly and all this time in SOLIDWORKS, making everything as perfect as you can with surface modeling. Uh, and then you see and see everything and that's got to be perfect so it lines up, it doesn't crash and break itself apart. And assuming you make it to the final round to get it on the machine and test, um, like I would have to wake up at four o'clock in the morning to go to the foundry at 5 a.m. to test. And you watch the metal go in and you hope that <laughs> you can't see what's going on, right? And, and if it doesn't blow up, then that's good, right? It doesn't break apart. Yeah. And you got to wait for it to go all the way down the line. And then you got to wait for it. There's just a lot of waiting. It taught me patience. I'm not a patient person. Yeah. You have to <laughs> be more patient. Oh, yeah. And then you watch the sand break off. And then you kind of see if, if it worked or not. But you don't really know until it all shakes out. And then you reach in over the hook and pull it to see if it came out. Or if it just froze off and you have a little nub of nothing. That happened a couple times too, but um, there's a lot of suspense. Yeah. <laughs> yeah like machining, you watch it happen in real time. You break a tool, it hits the door of the machine, whatever. Like you know exactly what's going on. The casting is, yeah. This is magic, a little bit. <laughs> Doing it, yeah. I remember learning from uh, old old guys that made patterns. Like they didn't even know why some of the things worked. They just did them. That's how they were taught. You just, that's how you have to do it. <laughs> don't, don't mess with it. <clears throat> so yeah, if you could send your email, that's going to be the easiest way for me to look it up. That would be great. Anyone else have any application questions I can add to the list? Uh, perfect. Thank you. Um, let's see. Okay, I'm putting that on my to-do list to look into that. Well, we have about 10 minutes left. Um, Mohammed, is there anything else you want to talk about on your agenda? Or... Can I hear you? Repeat it again. We have about 10 minutes left. Is there anything else you'd like to talk about while I'm here? Yeah, for, for attendees, uh, if anybody got a question, feel free, guys. In brief time, you are, you are going to learn some word from Arabic. Did you I'll try that? <laughs> <laughs> Which word do you learn? What's that? Which word do you learn? Uh, how do you how do you say hello to each other? Marhaba. Marhaba. Marhaba, yeah. Okay, and that, what does that mean? Marhaba means hello. Hello, marhaba. Marhaba. Kaifa uh, Then I have to go like this. I don't know anything else. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, marhaba. Yeah, it's just really yeah. interesting to learn, to learn like um, other language. You know, the people meet people from different background. Easy to chat with them. Mm -hmm. Also, you got you, you said you have like um, a little bit background is Germany. You have studied that at your school? A bit. Yeah, in high school as a teenager, yeah. I, I started learning Japanese. It's really hard, but quite interesting, yeah. you know, for me. Right? Marhaba. Marhaba, yeah. Okay, perfect. <laughs> we'll continue our, uh, our discussion in future user group meetings. <laughs> okay. Great. Yeah, we have that. David said he just applied. Thank you, David. 
Uh, okay, Ellis, Edelson, several. I'm just going to screenshot this because i got a, a few of them. Perfect. Well, it's, it's been a lot of fun, everybody. Thanks for the invitation. Uh, I'd like to, to come back and just listen and learn for future meetings, too. Yeah, you are more than welcome. I really appreciate it. Perfect. Thank you, everybody. Okay, see you later. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Right. Yeah, I'm a... Sorry. Alaykum salam wa rahmatullah wa barakatuh. Recording, bro, I guess. Oh.